What's up guys, and boys, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Death Scarender, and today we're going up against Lorenzo, I don't know, actually, as Enzo Pokemon, or Poke, so make sure to check this guy out, he's definitely an upcoming Poketuber, and I wish him all the luck in succeeding in this, he brings quality content, and have a lot of good things going for him, he usually relies on the higher tiers, but can go for lower tier sometime, and definitely against me due to, well, I guess we aren't too many who does lower tier, so... Yeah, they did extremely well. Um, and I also should do a big shout out to Marlene who helped me record this battle. I am extremely thankful for that. As you guys know, I still am out of a capture card, so... For these pocket super battles, I really want them to be recorded, obviously, in the best quality possible. And this is why I have this. So anyway, checking through my team here, I'm using Machoke, Licky Licky, Aurora's Malamar, Flareon, and Electrode. And uh, yeah, basically, it's a very, very offensive team, which means that it's gonna bring a lot of pressure and shut down posts as necessary with Electrode, and basically hope for the best. My opponent here, Lorenzo, is bringing Tarkis, Valpum, Frogadier, Torkoal, another Malamar, and of course, Rodan. Um, I did expect Rodan to be his lead Pokemon, but at the same time, and it kind of sounds fun like that, but I was thinking that due to him having such an obvious lead that he might not lead with it. Yeah, um, that is obviously my thought process. I tend to do that a lot. It helps me, you know, getting momentum in the beginning, uh, but it also can nerf me if I'm very unlucky here, which I actually were in the start here. And other than that, Frogadier, u threat can deal a lot of damage on a lot of my pokes, actually. So, I know that uh, my Flareon is probably the best response to Storkoal, but that's really about it. So, with all this in mind, let's go. So, yeah, like I said there in the get-go, I really, really thought I could outplay him here. So, I go into Selfie, and uh, yeah, I'm... Really hoping for him not to dare to go for a Will O Wisp due to me maybe being guts. No. <laughs> he just went straight on at And being that I have no guard, that Will O Wisp has no chance of missing. So I do go for a knockoff here, and um, yeah. I guess it does some fair damage. Yeah, I'm sure. And I did not expect him to go for a trick here. I could have gone for another knockoff. That could actually have killed him if I did that. But I was thinking that he's gonna go for a Volt Switch. So I went for a Dominic Punch. Obviously, not hitting too well, and um, <laughs> I just gotta keep going, going at it because there is no reason for me not to switch up moves anyway. And hope that you know whatever Pokemon is coming in, that it, you know we get a good kiss of my punch. Uh, and yeah, just getting something confused could help me out a lot. So I just keep, like I said, I just keep going at it. He's gonna go for the Malamar, and it's soaked that hit quite well, being that I'm fully invested in attack. So, ugh, not feeling it, not feeling it at all. So, he's confused, and he's gonna hit with a super power, which is gonna be obviously enough to take me out, and, um, you know, I had no means of dealing with this. I really didn't want to switch out, because there is nothing my Macho can do while it has the burn going, so it's just gonna go down, you know. Thank you, Selfie, I guess. So, then we go into my phony, which is the Electrode, and, well, I was hoping I could you know, thread him out with um, Signal Beam, so I actually went for a Thunder Wave instead, but hopefully it'll switch out. He's not falling for that, but luckily for me, he does hit himself with Confusion, and you know, Confusion together with Paralyzation is kind of annoying, so he decides to switch out. Which is a bit unfortunate, because I went for Signal Beam this time, showing off that I actually have the ability to kill it. And um, that's not good. That's not good at all. So, really here, I was thinking, okay, I did some fair damage with that Signal Beam, I might do even more damage with the Volt Switch and actually take him out because of a stab and whatnot, since both attacks are resisted. Ugh, it survives with a slither of health and that is just annoying if anything. So I decided to go into my um, um, oh, Derpasaur, the Licky Licky, hoping for a Shadow Ball to kind of soak that out. He actually went for a trick. A great player, my opponent, really, and uh, I was expect ex expecting him here to go for a Will O Wisp, so I thought it was an honest chance to uh, switch into my beautiful and yet deadly Flareon or Restore. And uh, there is nothing Flareon really can do, it is especially defensive and kind of cope with the situation quite well. So I was really hoping for him to stay in and go for a Shadow Ball and whatnot, and I can just go for a Flame Charge and do as much damage as possible, really. Obviously, left door is not you know, helping Rodan that much, but he shut down my Licky Licky, which is actually quite good for him, because the Licky Licky is a, definitely a threat to be reckoned with. 
So Shadow Ball doesn't do that much and that's quite good. If this Flame Charge will be more than enough to actually take him out. And um, he's gonna bring the Torkoal here and this is the thing though. I really didn't want to switch out. Uh, I got a Flame Charge going and I got my status effect going, which means that Guts is activated, which means my facade will do a lot of damage. And I have nothing that is a real response for his Torkoal, and I know this thing can set up rocks, and if it does that, then my Flaring is basically dead. So the only way I can really know, play around it is to actually try to take it out. And I do like, it's a free KO, which means it's, it's definitely it's not enough. But like I said, in contrast, my flare is going to go down anyway. I might as well try the best of my abilities to take it out before it's too late. And s since this is his physical wall, it mean basically means that I must find a way to break through. And uh, having a physical defensive wall out of the way, open up the games a bit for my Malamar. Which means that hopefully can do something or uh, at least something else. And of course, being that his Willow Whisper, the Rotom is gone. Which means it's nothing really stopping it, but... Yeah, I, I won't say I can really work around it. It's it's a better opportunity at least. So anyway, obviously Rest Store is gone and uh, his Torque is gone, which is really relies. I'm gonna bring Aurora's here as kill fodder. To be honest, it basically is my only response to anything on his team, and hopefully I can take out something. And uh, yeah, he goes for Scald and. Uh, it's not enough for a KO, but I do get the burn, so... But even with the burn, he's not gonna take me out with another Skull, but the burn in conjunction will take me out next turn if he decides to in. I went for a Discharge, hoping to get this thing paralyzed and actually outspeeding it. I should've gone for a Mirror Coat, really, but I did not do that. I decided to go for a Hyper Voice here, hoping that he stays in, you know, even if not, I can get some neutral actually going. He switched out to his Vault Plume, and that is just terrible. I feel so bad for that, I really do, that was a very tough switch, obviously he was expecting another discharge, and I do get it, this Hyper Voice did so much damage, it's so powerful, <laughs> I really like Aurora's for that reason alone, I mean, it's not really that defensive, hell, you know, a wind could probably take it out with a lot of force, but um, it sure packs a punch, and obviously it was definitely enough to take out a Vile Plume. <laughs> and I do, I am able to outspeed it too, because I have some speed investment on this, so I was able to outspeed the uh, common counters for it. And I say it worked kind of fine here, and obviously, <laughs> the um, frog there is taking me out here. So I go into my phony, I was not expecting this thing to be Scarf, I was thinking it's gonna be Focus Sash. They tend to be that, but no, he outspeeds me, so even if it doesn't do a lot of damage, or you know, it's it's a 2 hit KO, but I am able to outspeed, I went for a... Um, Signal Beam because I was thinking that he was gonna switch out actually, but no, he stays in and does a fair amount of damage to me, and um, here is actually a fun part, this is definitely like the funniest part of the game, uh, I go for a Thunder Wave here trying to shut down the Tarkis, I mean it's extremely defensive and I can't really work around it too much, uh, he's gonna go for a Toxic and sadly miss, but I'm actually gonna go for a Taunt here, and uh, yeah, it was kinda funny like that because now I couldn't go for Heal Bell, and um, I'll actually go from Volt Switch just to uh, switch to my Malamar and actually try to um, try to get some momentum, really, to be honest. There is really nothing Tarkis can do to me besides the Toxic, I guess. So I, I switch into my Malkuth, my shiny Iron Ball, Trick Room, Malamar. And um, he's gonna struggle, which means he have no attacking move whatsoever. And I think he just went for fight, seeing whether he could choose anything. And obviously the game decided that for him, so he's forced to switch out there because he's gonna die due to the struggle. And he switched to his old Malamar, and you know, it doesn't take this superpower that well. And due to him being paralyzed, which means that I am actually faster by default, even though I have the Iron Ball on me. And, uh, or I think we can be in a speed type, maybe, maybe that was the case. So anyway, now there's two superpowers left, and uh, there is nothing the target kids can do to my Malamar, obviously, because we all said it's complete set. So I'm just gonna go for fling, showing him the 200 base iron ball with Zabby and 300. It's basic explosion in his face, which means it's gonna boom! <laughs> I love that animation, but yeah. Um, Enzo Poke, really GG, man. You definitely had a battle from the beginning of the match, but it's... It really turned around the late game, and uh, basically, I won because of uh, 
because of the face off with Auroras, and uh, yeah, it turned out obviously great in my favor, but you really had me from the get go, to be honest. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed this battle, and remember to check out Enzo Poke too, he's very, definitely one of the better ones, so like I said, check him out. Uh, he needs all the support he can get, and you know, he's definitely showcased what it's all about, and he's definitely very, very formidable in NU. I obviously was just lucky and got the momentum with Auroras, and you know, my strength in Wi-Fi battles is that I'm... Well, that I'm not that conventional, that I'm using weird stuff, and it can get momentum from time to time, and it can also pretty much backfire and me basically falling apart. It happens a lot in the higher tiers, and that's why I don't play them. So, <laughs> or I do, but I lose in them. So anyway, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, due to the capture card issue, I'm not going to be able to upload as much. I do hope that, you know, that thing will turn around soon. I do hope to get it back uh, any day now. Goddamn, I hope they... <laughs> They basically said it was okay and uh, sent it back, like, uh, or said one week ago that they're gonna send it back to me in a week. Yeah, I'm really feeling it now. Like, where is it? <laughs> I haven't even got the UPS uh, um, number, so it hasn't even been sent yet. But hopefully things turn around. And thank you, Marlene, of course, for helping me with this battle to have been uploaded. So, with all this money, guys, well, thank you for always watching. And don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, right? And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, right? Bye.